What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. In the previous video, we ended just as we returned to the church after our meeting with the mysterious guy, or we should actually call him the merchant, right? Because that's what he wants to be referred as. So, yeah. Um, he made us an offer to. which supposedly is going to bring Lin out of her coma, or going to wake her up. But it's a really tough ask that he's asking of us, right? To basically remove our existence out of this world and... I'm not sure if he directly said it in those words, but I kind of... think he meant it in a way that he wants us to remove our existence from this world and move to another world. Or the other world. But we have no clue what that supposedly other world is, so yeah. Oh my god, that just, I mean, just the, the choice alone, it means to leave everything behind that we've worked so hard to gain over the entire journey of this story, and that sucks a lot. So, not sure what Tadayoshi's gonna pick, but let us continue. Oh, you're finally back, Tadayoshi! Where have you been? Uh, just out. I can't tell anyone about the conversation I had with the merchant. If I'm going to disappear, I think it would be better to just wander off. How is Lin? Rosary shakes her head. It seems nothing has changed. You've been sleeping so peacefully. I wonder what she's dreaming about. I put my hand on Lin's cheek. At any other time, she would have punched me in the face for even trying that. I'd rather see her just being lazy than being fast asleep like this. I want to help her. I'm ready now. Wait for me, Lin. I'll help you. I want to burn this image of her into my memory. Since I'll be alone from tomorrow onward, I'll still try to remember Lin like this, even if she's currently sleeping. Oh my god, he's actually gonna do it. Huh? Where am I? Was I sleeping for a long time? I don't remember anything after I saw Hisui's death. Seriously, what is this place? The world is pure white, and I can hear nothing here. Now that I've regained consciousness, I find myself in an unfamiliar place. I don't know what's going on, but I have to get back. But I can't see the way out of this place. It feels like, no matter how far I walk, I always look back. This is driving me crazy. Green butterfly, you must go back. You shouldn't have come here. I hear a woman's voice from somewhere. You again. It's the same voice I heard when Hisui captured me. Well, I want to return. But what should I do? Think and wish. Think and wish? About what? About your special person. Think and wish to live and stay together with him. Ah, uh, what's this all of a sudden? You must hurry and return before it's too late. Before it's too late, you say? Okay, in basic terms, leave this place. It's that simple. Live in the other world without getting involved with anyone. If you do so, I'll give the woman with the spirit of Veridis her time back. In other words, if I leave everyone behind, you wake Lin up? Is that it? What the hell is going on? The light goes out in front of me and images stream into my head. That is right. I don't get it. Don't get things going without me! <laughs> it 
You seem to be dithering over it. I have arranged everything for you to disappear without causing trouble to anyone. Well, I will give you one day to think it over. When you are ready to leave this world, come here again tomorrow morning. Now, if you'll excuse me. I have to hurry then. Tadayoshi is too trusting, so he would accept that weirdo's deal. If I don't wake up soon, he'll leave us. Think and wish. I close my eyes slowly and start concentrating. At first, he got my interest since I couldn't read his mind. But as I trained him and lived with him, I realized that I'd begun growing fond of him. I thought all men were nothing but vulgar and rude. But Tadayoshi, he was different. I thought of him as a sheltered weakling at first, but he's smarter and bolder than he looks. He made a place for himself amongst the scum of the city with no problem. He's got some kind of charisma that attracts people to him. And I, too, am attracted to him. Tadayoshi. As I think about him, my consciousness fades out. It feels like my whole body is starting to melt away. Lin. The night comes, but I stay by Lin's side. My time is running out. I want to be with her, at least for a little longer. Rosary and the others must have read my feelings, and now I am alone with Lin in this room. The door bursts open. Ah, Tadayoshi, I've got a great way to wake her up. Yeah, this should work. I think this will wake Lin up for sure. Mirna enters the room first, then the other two follow her in. What did you come up with? Let's tickle her feet with a feather. Yeah, I already tried that. Julia just said, I think this will wake Lin up for sure. Ta-da! Look at this! Mirna smiles and shows me a picture book, then taps the book to point it out. Isn't that... Snow White? Did Rosary read it to you? No, she didn't. We tried hard to read it on our own, since you taught us how to read. We want to help Tadayoshi-san in any way we can. You guys... I'm ready to weep with joy, but I try to hold it in. Didn't I say you're not alone? Rosary enters the room. Pinch. Ow! What are you doing? Rosary grabbed my cheek sharply. I've lost count of how many times I've told you this, but you were thinking over something alone, weren't you? So that's a little slap on the wrist for you. It, it hurts! It hurts! I'm sorry! Good. Rosary stops pinching my cheek. Tadayoshi, you can try to wake up Lin with the way we found. But you didn't explain it. I remember the story of Snow White. Snow White falls asleep and won't wake up, just like Lin over there. Huh? And my face turns red as soon as I remember how it went. Kiss her! It's simple! Tadayoshi! Just give Lin Lin a kiss! I'm surprised Mirna is for this, considering she, you know, she expects me to be Rosary's prince. So I would be expecting her to sort of be against this idea, but surprisingly she is not. You're the prince, so it should work. Oh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm everybody's prince, okay? I'm the prince of every girl in the world. But, but, hey, kissing her to wake up, isn't that a fairy tale? But everything else happening around me is like a fairy tale. K k kiss T Tadayoshi Kun kissing Lin. Ah! 
Didn't they explain anything to Rosary? Rosary is now blushing and panicking. The princess wakes up with the princess kiss. Very nice. Julia wears a dreamy girlish expression. Lynn doesn't really look like a princess though. Hey, don't say that, Alan. Whack! Oh god. <laughs> Myrna hits Alan with her fist. Dang, not even with open hand, just a fist. Just like Rosary often did to him. Ouch! Why did you hit me? Hmm. <clears throat> it's your fault for not reading the situation. Leave that weakling alone. And kiss her, Tadayoshi. Kiss her. Myrna demands that I kiss Lin. Stars in her eyes. I guess there's no turning back. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I look into the uh, sleeping face of Lin. Badump, badump, badump. The butterfly? No. <laughs> I thought the butterfly, because usually when her heart starts to beat, you know, it's when the butterfly comes, but it doesn't really make sense for it to come in this situation. Kissing is just touching your lips to someone else's, right? So why am I feeling nervous about that? But I've got no other choice, have I? I don't really believe a kiss will wake her up, but it could happen. Lin, I move close to her, then close my eyes. Then I bring my lips to hers, very slowly and carefully. And her lips touch. Lin, wake up, please. I wish for her to wake up as I press my lips to hers. First, I want you to wake Veridis. When he first said that, I had no idea that Lin was Veridis. Veridis is still a chrysalis. I want you to catch it and wake it. The strange event that happened during the fight against the Sui, when Lin and I connected to each other as if becoming one, that awoke Lin, or rather, Veridis. Now that I think about it, I'm sure I've been playing right into the merchant's hands. That's because we really had no other choice. You're the one who can help her if anything happens. Nina said that when I met her in the park. Did she know something I didn't? I am the only one who can save Lin if anything happens to her. Oh my god. All those moments. Lin. 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 In my heart, I keep repeating her name. I feel a slight breath through Lin's lips. And I see Lin's eyes move slightly before she slowly opens them. Lin, you... I can't get the rest of the words to come out. I can't even believe that she really woke up. <gasps> Damn it. How could you do that to me while I was sleeping? You're such a hopeless pervert. I swear. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Lin speaks to me in that familiar tone. The voice. I really wanted to hear. Why are you looking so freaked out, Tarayoshi? She gives me a composed smile. Something within my heart gets warm. Now I understand. I think I just... Lin! I can't help myself. I just hug her. Lin! I love you! I love you! I couldn't stop myself from confessing to her. It wasn't on an Ill impulse. I just felt that now was the time to say it. <sighs> Lin doesn't respond when she hears my confession. Rosary and the children are amazed at what I've said. Hey, you've gone and done it in the wrong order. Lin says to me bluntly, blushing. Huh? 
You're supposed to say you love me before you kiss me. You messed it up. Oh, I'm surprised that Lil has such a girlish axe aspect. You were thinking just now that you're surprised I have such a girlish aspect, huh? Lin says with a smirk. D did you just read my mind? Wait, telepaths can't read each other's minds. Your face is telling me everything you're thinking. All of it. So, Lin kisses me back. But it's only for a fraction of a second. Then she takes her lips from mine. What was that? I figure that bold confession deserves my first kiss. But don't think you got me, okay? You know how I really am. Lin gives me her usual smile, having been just as bold as I was. She's my master, cool, kind, and far out of my reach, skill-wise. I think that's why I love her. I know that. I still have a lot to learn from you. I'll stay with you, and you'll see how great I am, and how great I'll become. Ha, <sighs> fine. It'd be too risky to take my eyes off you. I'll be with you, until you're fed up with it, even if it takes the rest of my life. In the end, I never found out what Lepidoptera is, and my existence is still uncertain. But none of that matters to me anymore. As long as I can stay with Lin, that's the best thing for me as I am now.
Holy freaking crap. That last image where you just saw basically Viridis and Cerula, the two butterflies flying with each other. So Lin is finally awake. Oh my god. Thank god we didn't have to go through it actually, you know, removing our existence. But, I mean, that. There's seemingly still a little bit left. I'm not entirely sure how long it is, so I'm gonna save that for the next video, I think. Regardless of how long it is going to be, but yeah. Um. I still have so many more questions, but I'm not sure if it's going to be like answered in this portion of the video or I mean in this upcoming segment, you know, that's going to be happening in the next video. So I'm just going to end this this video here, then I'm going to record the next part and go through this bit and then see how it ends exactly and save everything for then basically so yeah holy crap i just want to thank you guys so very much for watching please like and subscribe for more and i'll see you in what's most likely the very last video of WAS. so yeah i hope to see you then peace